Hey everyone, welcome back to another Thomas Wooden Railway discussion, and as you can tell by the title, today's focus is going to be on Daisy the Diesel Railcar. She's one of my favorite characters in Thomas and Friends, and honestly, I think she's a bit underrepresented in the merchandise line of things. Uh, recently, she's uh, gotten some uh, more TV time, and she's actually become a decent character, whereas for a while she was just kind of here and there, and so the merchandise didn't really know what to do with her. But today I'm going to be focusing on the couple of different versions of Daisy that we have received in wooden railway form. Um, let's start off with the one that you see in front of here. This is basically the first version of Daisy, is what I will call it. She was released around, I think she had, she did have flat magnets, so we're looking at, uh, looking at about 1994, 1995-ish. And um, the only difference from that version of Daisy compared to the one you see here is that that Daisy had flat magnets, and maybe that was it, maybe a little bit of a color change. But honestly, she looked pretty darn similar to this, and that's why I didn't go, I'm not bothering, you know, showing off an older version of Daisy, because what you see is pretty much what you're going to get. Daisy is extremely unique because she has the ability for passengers to fit inside her, so she doesn't need any coaches. She basically is just a moving, roaming coach. So Daisy was sold all throughout the 90s. I want to say my Daisy is dated, looks like 2001, which would make about sense. Uh, she has her name on the bottom, and Daisy's just kind of a cool uh, character. I think when I was younger, I really, really, really wanted Boko. I thought Boko was a cool character. I'm not sure how I got Daisy into my collection, but I definitely had her as a child. And Daisy, fun little fact, if you watch my Wooden Railway series, Daisy is one of the few characters in my series that has not gone through an, uh, a different model change. And all the different seasons that I've done, Daisy, uh, this is the uh, model that I used way back in season one that I had as a kid. And honestly, I really like this version. I'll show off another version here in a second, and you guys can have your say as to which one you like better. But I think this version of Daisy is pretty spot on. We got some nice windows here, door detailing. Her face, I think, is just great. Um, we'll take a look again at some other versions of Daisy, and we will compare to faces and see how they look. But she's got a lamp up top. And overall, I think Daisy is just a, a really solid engine. Of course, she's very similar to Boko. Um, and that they are both diesels, and you know, in the TV series, I'm 99% sure they just reuse one for the other because they're the same shape. Uh, but Daisy here, I've always liked her color scheme, you know, mostly, mostly green, a little bit of gray on top, and then the yellow lining really kicks it for me. So, I do love Daisy. I think she's a very interesting character because she's selfish and she's sassy, but she's also got a good heart. You just gotta catch her on the right day, pretty much. So Daisy has this, uh, the thicker font on the bottom because she's 2001, and I think Daisy, Daisy was sold for about 10 years. If we're gonna say she was released in 1994, she was sold about until about 2003 or 2004. But Daisy, the thing is, Daisy really did not appear a whole lot in the TV series. And same thing with Boko, considering they both got a lot merchandise for a very long time. They didn't appear for very long. You know, Daisy was in season two and stuff, and then she had some appearances later on. I remember when Calling All Engines came out, and that was the first time we had seen Daisy in a very, very, very long time. But nevertheless, she still received a decent amount of merchandise. Um, throughout that time. I believe she got a, yeah, here's the thing, is she got a take-along model, but Boko didn't, but Boko got a Trackmaster model and Daisy didn't, so that's where the confusion is. But anyway, we were really lucky in Wooden Railway form. Not only did we get both of those characters, we also got a second version of Daisy. This is from the 2007, um, what would you call it, like a limited edition, re-release, limited time only type of thing. I remember when this was in stores, um, it was also sold, it was a new version of Derek that came out at the same time. So Daisy had been discontinued a few years before, probably around 2004, let's say, and then she had this 2007 reissue. And as you can see, a couple of things have changed. Overall, her main shape remains the same. I wanna say maybe there's a little bit less curvature here. Um, and yeah, there's some detailing things that are a little bit different, but I wanna talk about the face for a second. Daisy is known for wearing makeup, and it's gonna be very hard for me to choose my favorite Daisy face, just because I all think, I think they nail 
Daisy's different expressions very, very well. So let me bring in this first version of Daisy. This one was sold for 10 years, and then this one was only sold for about a year or so. Whereas Derek, um, he was like a limited time only thing, and then later got re-released. Uh, Daisy, Daisy was not. She was actually limited time only, so I wonder if she didn't sell well for some reason. So Daisy here... First thing we notice, of course the faces are different, but I'm gonna come back to that. The windows are different colors, whereas it looks like Daisy has all her lights turned off. To me, this looks, it doesn't look like the lights are on on the inside, it mostly looks like, you know, the reflection of the sky in her glass. That's just my opinion. Uh, we have the, the windows are different shapes and different colors, like I mentioned, and her lamp is also different. Um, this is a very learning curve-esque, type lamp. This is actually a fair, that's a fair amount of detail for a learning curve item right there. So that's actually quite impressive. I'm going to back things up. Along the side here, both engines are relatively the same. They both have uh, bogey arrangements. Um, the windows here have changed a bit. Do we have the same amount of windows? No, we don't. We have different amount, a different amount of windows. So we have the door up front. We got the door up front. We have two windows fitting in here, whereas we only had one, then a door, then three windows, then four windows, although one of them was a little bit smaller, and then we go back to two windows. So what's interesting here, the windows are all the same size on Daisy, not the, not the door windows, but here we actually have a differing uh, window size as we kind of go down. That's probably more realistic. I am used to this version of Daisy, so looking at the different sizes is uh, a little bit interesting, but uh, we still do have four doors on each Daisy model. And we still have the yellow lining, although up top here, it's much thicker than on Daisy here. And what's interesting is both items, if you guys can see this, they both have kind of, for lack of a better term, it's just like an indent above the top here where I guess the roof is supposed to start. Both models of Daisy have that. Let's see, uh, design-wise, on the back here. Yeah, it looks pretty similar, actually. I was thinking uh, this Daisy had more curves than the other one, or maybe vice versa. But interesting, nothing on the back. So we did all our detailing on the front. However, Daisy does need some, some windows in the back here so that her driver uh, knows if she's backing up if, so he can see. Um, up top, oh, that's interesting. I'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, man, Daisy's, Daisy's looking really nice here. I know I have a green uh, mat here, but she just she really uh, sparkles under these uh, studio lights, my super de duper expensive studio lights, which I'm totally kidding about. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a video one day, and they're going to go out, and that'll be a fun outtake. So let's take a look at the top here. We got 2007, and let's call that 2001 underneath. So 2001 Daisy has, for lack of a better term, dots <laughs> all the way down her roof. And on uh, this version of Daisy, it's every other. However, if you look, the uh, the sections, if you want to call them that, they're all they're the same length all the way down. So we have the same amount of sections. It's just that we have gotten rid of the dots, and I have no idea what the dots are supposed to represent, honestly. I mean, you guys know me. I'm into Thomas, and I know nothing about real-world engines, the real, you know, basis in real life. So, um, yeah, I face-wise, though... Man, that's uh, Daisy over here. She's definitely um, got some extensions going on with her eyelashes. Um, I see, I'm thinking back to a specific face mold that Daisy had um, that this face looks very much like. However, her eyeliner, one thing that kind of bugs me, this is something kind of weird to uh, be worried about, her eyeliner doesn't really go all the way, and I don't know if that's accurate or not, but this Daisy's eyeliner, and I'm talking about the area below like the, the eyelashes, um, goes all the way. Maybe I like that one more. It just seems more complete. However, this Daisy, you can kind of tell she's had some uh, some blush added on her cheeks. This version of Daisy, maybe just a little bit. Who knows? It actually could have worn off. Um, I don't play with my trains too roughly, but who knows? Um, but yeah, definitely more makeup going into this version of Daisy. Um, and another big thing I'll point out is that uh, her mouth is actually colored in. It looks like she's wearing lipstick, which I believe she does. So yeah, there are a fair amount of differences between these two models. Actually, more differences than uh, than I was originally thinking there were. I knew the face was different, and I knew the windows were different colors, but honestly, that was it. However, it, almost every single area on these two engines have either which way you want to lean, either an upgrade, upgrade, thumbs up in the back, or a downgrade, thumbs down um, in the back as well. 
So, again, I am partial to this daisy because I grew up with her. However, what's going on here is really, really nice. And I think, let's just say we swapped. Let's say this was the first version of Daisy release, and then this was the re-release uh, version. I would think of these darkened out windows as less detailing. You know, there's, there was thought that went into, you know, okay, we got the outer edge of the window, and then we kind of got the, I called it blue. It's probably more gray. People are going to get all over that for me. Um, but I would say the black windows are a bit of a downgrade. Um, the dots up top, I mean, there's more of them, so I call that an upgrade. Um, it's just this front area here. Again, let's let's just think hypothetically. If this version of Daisy came first, I would say the detailing on this one is a bit of a downgrade, and that should be the way it is because if we reversed them, this Daisy came second. You would hope that the uh, your um, predecessor, or excuse me, your successor, this Daisy right here, would have more detailing. However, I like this face better. Um, however, I think if it had been released second, I'd be pointing out, oh, she doesn't have lipstick anymore, um, which is very, very minor. But I do like how her eyelashes go all the way around her eyelids. I do like that. Now, I got a bit of surprise for you guys. Maybe you saw it in the thumbnail. Um, but there is another version of Daisy. It was not made by Learning Curve. It was made by Brio. And so this, <laughs> this is a little bit of a trip back in time. Brio Daisy. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't remember these Brio engines being sold in stores, but it's a, wood ver it's a wooden railway version of Daisy. And what's so funny is that in recent years, especially since the CGI switchover, and it took a while for Daisy to get a CGI model, but ever since then, she's a appeared pretty consistently and has gotten zero merchandise. That baffles me because she's appearing a lot. And honestly, you know, if Thomas and Friends is all about, you know, creating new female characters and everything, well, man, you got a strong, independent one right here that I'm sure little boys and girls would love to play with in merchandise form. So Daisy here, um, off the top of my head, we got two, we got four, we got two. That would be similar to that one. The detailing on the windows is different, however. I would say there's more detailing put into them. It's actually kind of a cross between the blue windows over here, blue slash gray, and the all black windows over here. We have all black windows. To me, that looks like the window has been pushed up. I don't know if that's even how Daisy's windows work, if they slide from side to side, but the detailing here at least to me, implies that they have all been pushed up like the passengers are enjoying the fresh air inside. We do have a yellow lining up top. Oh, we got two. So that stays consistent. And we do have yellow lining on the bottom. And look at that. One, two, three, four doors. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is where uh, Brio Daisy wins out for sure. So what we're looking at here, 1996. I'm just double checking. Yes, 1996. So yes, it's very clear that this uh, model was made by Brio, but we have the date on the back. And yes, the you can peel these off, but I really don't like to because I'm, I'm not going to use this for anything, you know, super crazy. So it's like, eh, why not just keep it on there? That's also our proof of when this model was released. So Daisy here, wow, her, her front and her back look identical with the exception of the face. And I think that's how it's supposed to be. Um... If you have an extra Daisy face laying around, you take that off of that and put that there. I mean, it, it looks exactly right. So Brio Daisy wins in that category for back detailing here. Got a little bit of a smudge on this. Obviously, this Daisy is used. Um, but yes, yeah, still symmetrical detailing all the way around. And the face. Okay, so the face, her eyelashes are not as pronounced. You kind of have to go looking for them. And she doesn't appear to be wearing any makeup at all I, I see maybe some blue man I, I'm a guy so I have no idea what it what it's called or anything but around her eyes maybe some no her blush is on her cheeks gosh I should have researched this anyway around her eyes it's like a blue a faint of blue is what we'll call it maybe a scent of blue around her eyes maybe I'm colorblind and not seeing that right but that's that's what it looks like to me uh, maybe yeah some some blush on her cheeks um, but yeah, the big difference here is the lack of eyelashes. Yeah, they're there, but they are tiny, really, really tiny. And it doesn't look like, uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, her mouth has been painted in, actually. So we got three versions of Daisy here. Let me bring this one up first, because these two were competing on the marketplace for a little bit. 
So what's interesting, I didn't even talk about Daisy's bogeys here. Obviously they're Brio bogeys. And we have this very strange coupling thing going on here. I have not even tried to unhook this. And I don't think you're supposed to. I just think it all goes back to how Brio produces their other engines. And, you know, that was the thing. Learning curve, Thomas was the main priority. You kind of worked around Thomas. When it came to Brio, though, Thomas kind of worked around Brio. It was a Brio engine first, and then it became a Thomas engine second. We got these nice shiny wheels as well, but we're still looking at four wheels on each bogey for a total of eight, so that stays the same. But yeah, this coupling thing, probably when I rolled Daisy up for the first time, that's probably the first thing you guys notice, and it is a little bit strange. So these two were competing on the marketplace at one point. The detailing, for the most part, is very, very similar. Oh, look at that, we do have some. Now they're just circles up top, and yes, circles here. But that's, that is so funny how this daisy kind of follows this pattern of every other but there's no well, that's weird there's no circles at the back here this pro i want to say maybe it's these are representative of daisy's um cooling system ventilation inside the cap something like that they're obviously important otherwise brio would not have included otherwise they would not have been included you know at all but it's very interesting, this daisy, you know, this had long been discontinued when this daisy came out. We're talking about the 2007 one here. And yet it follows that same pattern. Very, very interesting. But details wise, I mean, guys, this is, we're talking, you know, we're splitting hairs, honestly, if we, if we really want to get into it. I talked about the windows before. On the side here, I will point out, you see these black lines next to the doors. Maybe, I don't know what those are supposed to represent. I'm going to call them like door stops, where if you were to swing the door open, it would kind of keep it in its place. This daisy does not have them. So I would give this daisy the advantage for more detailing, which Brio was really, really good at. Same thing along this side. However, the lines, the lines are much thicker on daisy, which makes them easier to see. And especially these top two yellow lines are a lot easier to see. I had to go looking for that, that first top line up there because it kind of hides. So, yeah, let me bring in this other version of Daisy. These two never competed against each other, but they're still versions of Daisy. Um, we should talk about the color. These two, color looks pretty much identical. I'm talking about the, the green, by the way. These two look identical, and honestly... I'm not even looking through my camera lens right now. It, it pretty much looks like the same, the, the same color. The color is a little bit distorted because I got some, uh, some lights on them. But looking at them in real life, the color looks identical. So I, I don't know what you would call Daisy's color. It's a very, obviously a very nice you know, color of green. But that is very interesting. Um, color seems to be pretty much on point. I think, you know, the one thing, these two are very similar, and even Brio Daisy is still somewhat similar to these two, but the one thing Brio Daisy does right, that back detailing, we always need more detailing. So guys, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave this one up to you as to which one you like better. Let me bring in, so we're kind of in chronological order here. Let's say this. So we got, this was released 1994. This came out at 1996, apparently, a little bit earlier than I expected. And this is a whole decade later in 2007. That's an interesting point. This Daisy's face is a little bit higher. I just think it's, it's how the body rides on the chassis there. But overall, you know, height-wise, that makes sense because they got to fit through the same tunnels and, and bridges and stuff. Uh, but Daisy's face in the middle there, Brio Daisy's face, is just a little bit tinier than the learning curve ones. This is, uh, this is interesting. This is a tough one. I will, be, I will fully admit I'm partial to this one because I grew up with it. And maybe I'm a little bit skeptical of Brio because it's not learning curve. And I'm a little bit skeptical of this one because it wasn't sold for that long. And I haven't, you know, I haven't had these two in my collection for, for that long, considering I grew up with this Daisy. So as of right now, you know, what I always do with my series is I like to include the best versions of each character in my series. And I'm still going to use this Daisy because I do think it is the best version. However, we do have some serious competition from these two. I would never use Brio Daisy in my series, even though it looks fantastic. But Learning Curve Daisy here, I think it's just, I don't know. When I think of this Daisy, I think of the promo pictures with the um, the blue or the gray windows. And I just remember thinking, oh, that's weird, you know, because I'm so used to this one. So I think it's just a case of I grew up with this version of Daisy, and it's hard to let it go. 
And while this version of Daisy is spectacular, arguably has more detail, and this version of Daisy is really good, and it arguably has more detail than this one, this is a very quintessential learning curve toy where it's like the details there, we take a look, the lamps is the perfect way. Yes, there's a lamp. Ooh, de really detailed lamp, really detailed lamp. Learning curve was never super about, you know, getting all of the detailing and getting it down to like the finer details as well. So I, I, I'm, I really, I'm not even saying that I don't like these two versions of Daisy. I love them. They're fantastic. But when it comes to the one I'm going to put as the best, um, best, maybe Brio Daisy. But the one I like the best, this Daisy, without a doubt. And I think it's just because I grew up with that one and it's, it's hard to change your mind because you just get so used to that one. So guys, let me know in the comments below which version of Daisy you like. I will say it's kind of hard. I'll do this really quick before the video ends. Brio Daisy is just a tad bit longer. Let me get to the back here. I'm gonna line these up. Okay, the faces are lined up. Uh, you can't even see it really. But yeah, maybe hopefully you can tell there. Yeah, Brio Daisy is just a tad bit longer. I'll throw that out for what it's worth. But wow, um, I really like this lineup. And I know the thumbnail kind of gave it away, but Brio, Brio Daisy was uh, a little bit of a dark horse. Because it's like, oh yeah, there's two versions of, da of Daisy. Why would you do a review on them? You know, it's just comparing one to the other. There's not like a ton of different versions or anything. But actually, you know, this Brio version kind of throws a wrench in things. And it makes you really have to consider um, which model you like the best. So I've kind of laid out what I think there. I think this is objectively the better one, the best one, due to the detailing and stuff. However, I think it has the weakest face. And the faces are really important to me on these trains. Um, face wise, yes, good detailing here. I don't really like the eyelashes. This face, of course, I'm used to it. I like that one the best. So maybe objectively the best, but this is the one I like the best. And then this one is still really good. Um, the problem is these two, Daisy's pretty hard to find and this one's especially hard to find. It took me a long time to find that version of Daisy. So guys, I'm gonna wrap things up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I really like doing these discussions, so feel free to participate. And until the next video, this is Thomas Wooden Railway saying thanks for watching.